Hello and welcome to today's video. Today we are taking on more tracks in our NASCAR Heat 2 Season 4 Championship in the Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series. I forgot to see what episode number this is. Um, why am I getting notified for things that I have notifications turned off on my phone for? Oh my god. Anyways. Um, yeah, I don't know what episode this is. I forgot. Is that episode 12, maybe? Either way, we're taking on Kentucky and New Hampshire in this episode. Later in the week, we take on Pocono and Watkins Glen. And then on Sunday, Michigan and Bristol. Now, in the past week, we have had a streak of top three finishes. Okay, I'm going to have to turn the notifications off. I don't know if they got turned on. Um... Third at Charlotte, second at Pocono, second at Michigan, first at Sonoma, third at Chicagoland, second at Daytona. So we're going to see if we can continue that streak of top three finishes into the next races. So let's go to Kentucky. Right. So here we go. We have a six race streak of top three finishes going into one of our worst mile and a half tracks. Uh, Kentucky is, is a track that we haven't really been able to succeed at. It's mostly coming off of turn three and four, or in those turns we kind of struggle a little bit more uh, than turn one and two. One and two were good, but in this turn it's just a little bit harder to keep the car at the bottom of the track, I feel, and uh, that definitely hurts us here. Now our job ultimately is to get the win, but we don't, we don't, and you know, that's a thing. Uh, but, you know, we'll see what we can uh, accomplish here in this week of racing. Oh, no. I spun Blaney out. That sucks. It's going to be caution. I'm going to think if this is the first video that I've recorded since I got my haircut. No, it wasn't. I got my haircut, as you guys can tell. Um, you know, you tell if I got a haircut or not, because my hair, like, it's all crazy out of my hat or not. Uh, but I got a haircut. But I think I did record Fortnite, Overwatch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's whatever I recorded. Yeah, okay. I was trying to think, because I got my haircut on Tuesday. Then I recorded videos on Wednesday and now Friday. Okay. I was thinking, I'm like... I did do that, right? Spell the bottle. Steady. Inside, inside. Oh, this is the last week I'm gonna have these video these these glasses though in these videos. Fun fact I'm getting new ones up. But by the time the jig goes up I will have new ones. <laughs> they got a message yesterday that they were ready to be picked up. So yellow flag, yellow flag, easy, easy. Cause I had to go get my eyes checked the other day and when you do, you tend to get new glasses based on the new prescription if you obviously wear glasses. Um, so I had, I picked new glasses and then I had to uh, get the lead because I didn't make the lenses because they just didn't. Some of them they can do right at the place, uh, but some of them they don't. I think it depends on what they do with the glasses and what it has to be made with. Cause I know my dad had to get, cause my dad got them and my mom both got glasses. So, they had to get them, cause they had like some weird lenses in there. So they had like three different sections that did different things for seeing. And it didn't really work out for either one of them. So, my mom had to get new ones. Or uh, get those, what the hell just happened there? I got hit up by Amarola and then it sent that dude spinning. Either way, so she had to get new lenses for her glasses, or different ones, uh, again, because she got the first ones and it didn't work. But hers, they had to, like, order them, but then my dad had to get new ones, and we went there Tuesday, and they were able to make his, so I think it depends on what they do to the glasses, if they can make them at the place, or if they have to, uh, order them. But I should get mine in. In, um, well, they're in now. So tomorrow I should go get them. So by the time the video goes up, 
on your glasses, but yeah, it's cool. I'm excited. Picked a uh, cool, cool frames, I think. So hopefully, it'll look very nice. They're a little bit different than these, but they're like one of my favorite styles of glasses. I kind of, I've seen them around a little bit. That same style I'm going for. So we got to try to drive our way to the front here. Uh, we, we qualified in 24th. Drove our way up to third. Hit for four tires. Up back to 28th, and now we're driving our way back up into the top 10. At the top five, actually. But the issue is, are the tires too worn to make moves? We had to race the entire field on newer tires. Are they too worn? to get ourselves by a couple more cars. We are in sixth right now. If we finish in fifth, our streak will just extend to a top five finishing streak instead of a top three. So, we'll see. Whereas if we finish in sixth, then it'll be a top ten finishing streak. But I don't want it to go from top three to top ten. So we do have Logano in front of us that we do have to try to pass. If we can pass him, we're setting ourselves up for a decent, decent finish. I mean, fifth right now would not be bad. Considering everything, fifth would not be bad. I'm going to drive to the field twice. All right, two to go here. Let's see, can we catch up to Newman here now? He's the guy that's in fourth. Now I know that this top five order definitely does not uh, represent the current top five order of what's run in most NASCAR races. Having four Chevys in the top five doesn't really seem too 2018 to me. But if they get this body figured out, the Chevys will be fine. The Chevy drivers and all that. It's a, it took the Toyota drivers a couple months to figure out the cars. Last no, season, no, no, no. any bodies. Alright, we're going to cross the line of fifth, and we will extend our streak of top five finishes to now seven races in a row. Alright, off to right. New Hampshire. Here we are. Seven race streak of top five finishes. We are now at New Hampshire, where we qualified in the 18th position. Not our best qualifying result at New Hampshire ever, and the only race that we run at New Hampshire this season. Very, very weird to only come here once, but it's a thing that's happening now. We're going to make some runs on the outside here. We're going to get ourselves forward a little bit. Things you never would normally do at New Hampshire in an actual race is run the outside lane and try to gain some positions, but... In the game, the, the track is not entirely uh, accurate in that sense of where you can run and not run and make passes. Same with Martin's though, you can make passes with a relative ease on the outside line at that track. For real, Martinsville is really, really hard to make an outside lane pass. You guys can see here, I have passed my way up to the seventh position just running the outside lane. 
I mean, it can occasionally be a two-groove racetrack if they put the, uh, the, the stuff on the track, but not, not that high up. Not that high up. Alright. We worked our way into the fourth position here. We're getting close to the playoffs. It's only like this week and I think next week they may actually start. I'm not entirely sure, but I believe next week may be the start. Of the playoffs. Which is kind of wild. Kind of wild. Alright. Now the outside lane's benefits are not as great as they were. Just due to the fact that everybody's about single file. So it does make passing not as easy as it was before. Looks like Kevin Harvick and Martin Truex are the main two up front. Is that really 2018? I think so. Throw Kyle Busch into that mix and you got yourself 2018. Last year it would have been Martin Truex, Kyle Busch, and Kyle Larson. I mean, maybe Kyle Larson will get back up there, but right now it's uh, Harvick and Truex, really. Alright, so we're on lap 6 of 21. Still a lot of racing left. A lot of racing left. There is a lot of time to catch these guys. Settling on my position here in the third spot for a couple laps and not messed it up like I did in qualifying. I didn't do as good in qualifying as I think I should have, as, as I know I could. Uh, but here we are racing at New Hampshire. Only time this season we're going to get that win here in season number four. We did it in previous seasons, got wins here at New Hampshire. Some of them come in the playoffs, some of them not. Trace is our main contender in the playoffs uh, right now with us. He's the second place driver in points to us. I believe he's only got one win on the season. I believe there's a couple drivers in two, maybe three. I have to check. We're probably, uh, maybe we'll go over in the next episode to start. Right now, though. We're kind of just maintaining the spot. 2.1 seconds behind, just kind of just maintaining 2.1 seconds all around the track, honestly. And a 1.6 or 1.7, 8, 7, 8, and then back up to probably 2.1. Now we did gain about a tenth of a second that lap around, all around. 1.7, I mean 1.7, 1.9 we're back up to, 1.8, so it was two seconds behind at the line. Okay, we did gain a little bit through there, but let's see what we're going to get on corner exit. 1.6, 1.7, alright, so 1.7 the line, so we, went from, we gained three tenths of a second around that time. We're about halfway through the race right now. We got up to 1.7, but now it's back to 1.9. Back up to 2. 1.4. Oh no, that's a bad turn. That was a bad turn. Takes a couple laps to try to gain that one back. Oh my god. I must have uh, done something a little bit bad in that corner. Yeah, 2.5. Our mistakes in those the last lap have really hurt us hitting the wall. And then 
getting on the apron and coming back onto the track really killed our car. Killed the run that we were trying to make. But we are going to have to pit. If this thing stays green, we'll have to pit. I just don't want to be that first guy to pit. There's still plenty of time left in this race. You know, there's seven laps of fuel. Eight laps of racing, so... There's still plenty of time left, but these tires are, uh, Not enjoying their time out here. That's something you can say for sure. We are having some slight tire issues. Here at New Hampshire. Uh, down to 38% on that front tire. Oh, we almost had a crash right behind us. McMurray and Johnson. Try to maintain this race. There's six laps to go. McMurray is to the outside of us. Johnson got the pass. I think he may be pitting, though. We'll see, though. Okay, two tires, no repair, and half a can of fuel. That's all we need. That is all we need. Only things can we get out of this pits before them? No, we can't. There's a lot of cars ahead of us now. There's a real lot of cars ahead of us. I don't think we've ever had a green flag pit stop at New Hampshire, ever. We're in 23rd position. I think some cars probably stayed out, but yeah, because now we're in 21st. So we, we do have a couple cars that stayed out, but Hold your line. Not sure how many cars really stayed out. 27 seconds Get behind. To the bottom. Get to the bottom. Hold your line. Clear up top. Outside, hold your line. All clear, driver. Outside, still there. This was because of the idea to take tires, honestly. Alright, so we're in 10th. We did take newer tires, that was our uh, main issue. So we gained seven spots, so there's seven drivers that were still okay, on the track that had not pit. So the position that we really lost here are, I don't even know who, honestly, at this point. It's just a mess in front of me. Can you get Jimmy Johnson out of the way? In the wall. We are in the sixth position going into this last turn here. The bottom's clear. Oh. Oh, aggressive move. Got Truex on our outside here. Truex does take 
the top spot. We are in second. That restart really, really helped us. Can we get him? No, we don't have the full distance to go up the track. McMurray on the inside now. Can we get him? We entered way too high. A lot of contact there. McMurray is going to go out and win this thing. We're going to finish in fourth place after that. Oh, boy. That was a good finish. That was an actual good finish. Not too mad about it. I was in contention in two laps total. Like, what, I was supposed to be mad that I didn't win that? I was lucky in that race. Because I believe, if we go back to before the restart, okay, I believe this is what it called a caution for. Because right there you see I hit it and then caution got called. So I think, I just got lucky that I hit the wall and the game said, that's a caution. That's what I got lucky on. I was going to finish like 17th, right? Then a bunch of guys had to pit, so I gained 7 spots. And then, for some reason on the restart, the car started like four wide. So I'm just like, well, can I get like an overhead view? Yeah. So you see right here, we back it up. You see right here, they're already like three wide. And I see that. And I go in here, push Johnson up, out of the way. There's really nothing I could do. My car is, I'm going so fast. And right here, I hit the wall. Okay, but I am already up to fifth here. Dive down, make that cut down, and get into true X. And right here, I have the lead. So I would go from 17th to first because of this caution. Now, again, the game gave me that hit. I've hit the wall a couple of times. That's why you seen there in the last, last bit over here. I hit the wall the same like exact angle. Maybe just a little bit softer, so the game's like, nah, it's not a caution. But I had the same spot a couple times, so I'm surprised it called the caution that time. Um, Alright, but we can't get the same acceleration off the corner, so Truex gets the, uh, it's a big run there, he's actually out of frame. Into the corner here, we're gonna go and hit him up a little bit to uh, get by him. Right here, our momentum sort of stalled out on the exit, because over in the bottom lane. Plus, I was having trouble turning all race. At the bottom from Truex here, we go up. Right here, we're actually, like, hitting each other on the exit. That slows Truex way down. But I'm thinking, all right, I got this. Now, I could have hit my where taken him out of the race and won this thing. But I raced him clean, raced him good. And right here, he was breaking, like, right next to me. I had to make an aggressive move up high to not hit him. And that just hurt my race right there. I go down to the bumper, try to slow him down, but it killed all my momentum instead. I go up, try to hit into Harvick, block, and that actually messes me up more. If I just stayed up here in front of Harvick, probably would have finished second. But as you guys see, who actually fit? I think that I got. I might have got fourth. Yeah, because McMurray. Then you got Newman, Bush, and then I hit the line, and then Harvick. But yeah, you see right here? I thought this was going to be a lot bigger than it was, though. But that killed Bush's position on the track. So you have myself, Bush, and Newman all partially like sideways across that line. How none of us crashed here, though, so what's the crazy thing? It all set up from me going way too high. If I didn't go too high, this wouldn't have happened. But I went too high, which let McMurray go by, so I hit into him and try to slow him down. He takes off, and then we all... I just back up, basically, and stack right here. Try to block Harvick. Mess that up. That gets me way loose, and we all hit. Crazy run, but uh, we'll see you guys in the next episode.